Okay, FAQ number 15, another question I've had recently and been asked in the past, and that is, should a Christian work for the government? Okay, well, <laughs> uh, this is another one that's, that's uh, kind of, I can't answer it directly because uh, as far as things are different today than they were in the past. Um, I would say back in the past, like say back in the 1800s, I would say that a Christian could work in any branch of the government that there was. I mean, a Christian could become president of the United States. And, you know, were there some Christians in there, John Adams and things? You can debate that back and forth. Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that there's a good case for John Quincy Adams being a Christian. Um, I don't know. But uh, certainly governors, mayors, uh, congressmen, things like that back in the 1800s, yeah. You know, I think that uh, a man back then, a saved man, could follow Romans chapter 13, being a minister of God to thee for good. The powers that be are ordained of God. Sure, I think that a man back then could uh, be in that situation and be used mightily of the Lord. But what happens when a government gets very corrupt? Uh, well, knowing that you are part of a corrupt system, uh, I think, I think it would be a problem to work for somebody like that, okay? And it's also very dangerous. Let me show you a little article here really quickly um, on the overhead camera here. This Luna Inquest pushed, and this guy right here, uh, Luna, Jonathan Luna is his name, and uh, years ago, this was back in 2007, there was this whole thing down um, going towards uh, Five Pointville down in uh, Lancaster County, and they found this guy, and he was face down in this little tiny stream, you know, it might have been about that deep at the most, and um, they found him, and he's face down in this stream, and he'd been, and he'd been stabbed like, I forget what it was, like 30-something times in his back, and it was like, you know, oh, he was, he was uh, murdered and everything, and, and they, they came out with a bunch of different stories, and then, and then the official, when the FBI showed up, then it was like the official story came out that he had committed suicide because of some bad affair that he'd been in. And he committed suicide by stabbing himself 30-something times in his back. And then he fell into the stream and drowned in, in the stream when it's only an inch or two deep. Yeah, okay. I mean, we're talking just a teeny tiny little stream here between farmers' fields, you know. Uh, my point being... You get up into the higher levels, and he was like a, uh, what was it there, um, assistant U.S. attorney. So he was pretty high up. You get up into those high levels of government, if you do wrong, you will be uh, suicided. Now, is that the kind of an employer that you should be working for? You know? Um, the system, our, our political system here in America is extremely corrupt right now, and we are right on the brink of going into total totalitarian uh, really bad stuff. And I would say as a Christian right now, the best thing you, that you can do is just get away from that governmental system and uh, let God judge it. Okay? Um, should you take your paycheck from a corrupt criminal organization like our federal government? No, I don't think you should. I think as a Christian, I think that there should be... I mean, if I was going to some, you know, some job and I found out that my boss was you know, also dealing in drugs or something like this, which the federal government does, you know, through the CIA. They're the biggest drug runners in America. And um, do I want to get a paycheck from that? Eh, no. So should a Christian work for the government? In the past, you could have made the argument. Now, no.